So guys, uh, let's get into the issue here. I, I bought a, uh, a Scent OS server on Quantubo and I was trying to connect to it and I was getting this error, software cost connection abort. Okay, I tried different things, searching online, nothing worked, but a simple trick worked. Okay, so what was the trick? Let me let me share it with you. First, you log into your Contubo dashboard. Uh, in the email that they have given you, your login data, in that email typically, they will give you a username and password. So you log into that, using that username and password to the Contubo dashboard. Okay, and simply go to the services. Okay, then this is the server that I've actually uh, purchased okay so using this IP address okay if I'm trying to connect to that sent OS system okay it was throwing the error okay right now it might connect but earlier it was throwing the error but now it might end up getting connected yes get, get, getting connected but earlier it was throwing that error called software cost connection about so simply what you're supposed to do is just go here I mean I'm telling you what worked for me okay I went to the controls and then stopped it restart also didn't work okay i've stopped it just let it leave for a couple of minutes and then i've started it okay once i've started i made sure that it started how do i make sure just go to the command prompt okay and then i said ping and then that machine okay uh oh just copy it Okay. I've pinged it and then as soon as the ping is successful then you know that the system is working okay no, for some reason the ping is not successful okay so let me check hang on guys yeah it's okay so let me just say ping okay so you see you are getting the ping reply which means that the system is up and running and whatever you have restarted stopped and started so now you you are hundred percent sure that the server has started now you just go back and then you know go to the putty go to the putty okay and give that IP address whatever the IP address that they have given just copy it and then paste it over here Initially, I didn't know if I have to leave this port 22 on or not. So I left it on and I've did it an SSH and click on open and it is asking you to log in. Okay, just give it as a root and it will ask you for the password. So whatever the password that is given to you, you can give the password here and then you're good to go. That's about it guys. That has worked. Just a stop and a start. Hope this video 